Today, we are making a healthier orange chicken with ingredients you probably already have at home. I'm gonna show you how to achieve that nice and crispy texture without frying it, just baking it in the oven. Let's get to it. Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. First thing we're gonna get going is the breadcrumbs for the chicken. I'm using one cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now these are known for being a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna put them in the food processor to get them to the same consistency of traditional Italian breadcrumbs. All right, so this is perfect. This is gonna help it stick better to the chicken and thus a crispier piece of chicken. Similar to the last video, I'm creating a batter before the chicken goes into the breadcrumbs. So I'm adding two eggs and half a cup of flour and combining that together. These are one of those things that you just kind of have to do it to see. This is a little bit still too thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of cold water to thin it out to that perfect batter consistency that we need. So a little bit of water right into the batter bowl. I'm gonna incorporate that and see how it goes. Due to the current pandemic, a lot of the Chinese restaurants near me have closed down and Chinese food's one of my absolute favorite cuisines. I mean, Asian food in general, top two favorites, Italian and Asian food. I've really been missing it, so we decided to create our own recipes at home. I wanna share that with you guys, it's super easy and it'll bring you back some of your favorites. Okay, so this is looking perfect. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. When you lift up your whisk or spoon, it should drip down easily. Now I'm gonna cut the chicken into cube-sized pieces. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I think that they retain a lot of moisture while baking them in the oven, but you can use chicken breasts no problem. I really like this recipe because it can show you that Chinese food's not hard to make and you can make it in your own home. I mean, it's even nice knowing exactly what's going in there and you're just getting exposure to a different cuisine. I'm cutting them in about one inch pieces. It really just depends on your preference. Before we coat the chicken, I'm going to coat a sheet pan with a little bit of olive oil. You can brush some olive oil on or whatever you have, basically just so it doesn't stick to the pan. Then we're gonna take each piece of chicken and dip it first in the batter. And you wanna make sure you remove any excess batter. Uh, just drip it down, kind of hit on the side of the bowl if you have to, and then right into the panko breadcrumb mixture. You wanna really coat it up on all the sides and onto your pan. And you're gonna repeat that with all the rest of the chicken. Now, if you ever wanted to make these ahead of time, you could always bread a lot more chicken and then put it in the freezer. And anytime you wanna make this recipe, just put them in the oven and cook them and then make the sauce if you wanna skip this step. It's great when you have a lot of people over. Kids will love this dish. These look great. You can really tell the difference of making the panko breadcrumbs smaller before applying them. It just helps to evenly coat the chicken. So now I'm gonna add these into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Now we're going to make the orange sauce for the chicken. This is the star of the dish. You could essentially use any protein you'd like with this. You can make shrimp, you can make tofu, you can use just vegetables, but this is the key ingredient. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of olive oil on the pan. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go in with about six cloves of garlic. Sizzle. And about a two inch piece of ginger finely chopped. Now, if you can't find ginger in your local supermarket, I'm gonna show you a little hack. Trader Joe's sells these crushed ginger packets. So you would use about two of these and I think almost all Trader Joe's carry them. It's perfect if, you, if ginger is not in season or they just don't carry it in your local supermarket. Ginger is great for so many things. I, my favorite way to use ginger is in a ginger tea. You just pop a few of those ginger packets in boiling water, a little bit of lemon juice, some honey. Okay, I'm also going to add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes in here. And we're gonna stir this for about 30 seconds until fragrant. So to these, I'm going, all of the measurements are in the description, so I'm gonna need you to pay attention because there's a few things that are going in this. So I'm going in with rice wine vinegar. Now I'm gonna add one fourth of a cup of orange juice. Ooh. 
Next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Just right in there. Perfect. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now our pans calm down. Next, I'm going to be adding one fourth of a cup of white sugar. I said it was healthier, not necessarily healthy. Okay, you wanna dissolve that all into the sauce. So now, this is super important. To one fourth of a cup of white vinegar, I'm adding one tablespoon of cornstarch. But instead of adding the cornstarch directly into the pan, I'm going to add it into the vinegar first and stir it. This will make sure that you don't have any clumps because if you were to add the cornstarch directly into the pan, it would leave you with little white lumps all around. So you just want to mix this until it's nice and smooth. Perfect. And we're going to add this right in. The cornstarch is going to work to thicken the sauce and that's going to help it to coat the whole chicken. All right. This already smells amazing. It's sweet and tangy. I can smell the vinegar. I can smell the ginger. I can smell the garlic. Last thing we have to add is the zest of one orange. And this is really going to kick up the orange flavor. Oh, jeez. Going out of control. Now we're just going to stir this all together. So once the sauce starts getting thick, you're going to want to turn the heat off and wait for your chicken to come out of the oven. Then we're just gonna incorporate it all together, and that's it, it's done. This chicken came out great. Look how nice and crispy and crunchy it is. Now that our sauce has come to the right consistency, we're gonna add the chicken right into the sauce. Yeah, guide it a little bit. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's getting that nice glaze right now. Just wanna make sure all the chicken gets nicely coated with the sauce. With the nice glossy finish, and you can tell it's nice and crispy from the dark bits from the oven and the thin panko, this looks awesome and I can't wait to try it. This looks amazing. I might not even order out again. So I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, completely optional. It's more for the aesthetic. And on the top, oh. And I'm also serving it with a little bit of broccoli that I just steamed. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, it's glistening. It's smoking in the air. I'm, I'm just in heaven. I'm in heaven. Living in New York, especially living in Queens, New York, and growing up so close to Flushing, Queens, I've had the opportunity to get access to some of the most authentic Chinese food. It's really impacted my culinary journey, a lot of the flavors that I like today. I mean, I can't even tell you how many amazing memories from childhood I have, from going on Sunday to have dim sum with my family, or going into these tiny little restaurants behind plastic coverings that will give you the best Peking duck buns or noodles. We might have to do a video in flushing soon, so stay tuned. I'll show you some of the best flushing eats. So let's give this a taste. So nice and glisteny. Oh, it looks like I just picked this up. Mm, it's crunchy. It gives you the same bite of a restaurant style orange chicken. The sauce is tangy and delicious from all the vinegar and it's still sweet from the sugar. You guys have to check this out. So thanks for staying tuned for this week. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I promise I am doing a flushing video soon to show you some of the best Asian eats in Queens, New York. So that's it for this week. Bye everyone.